I told you guys I was flying this on the channel for a reason, and this is it. I think this is our first video intro ever that I cannot hold the airplane. <laughs> this is an ultimate 46% DA-150 9 horsepower gas engine biplane. Smoke capable. We're talking 8 servos to make the ailerons move. That's insane. I am here today with a very awesome person, Mark Radcliffe, that is heavily involved with the AMA. He's actually the District 3 Vice President, so that's super cool. And I've just, I've been like a sponge today trying to learn as much as I can, even the assembly of this airplane to take it apart, re reassemble it. Uh, it takes longer than building about 30 of my foam airplanes. This has been a decade or so, a decade or more actually, of flying foam and electric planes to lead up to this point. And I wouldn't have been able to do this without the help of Mark. And that, that's what I needed because there's a big leap. There's a big step to get into something that is literally bigger than me. This is crazy. <laughs> I could almost fly on this plane. So with any luck, today's maiden flight for YouTube will be a success. And if it comes back in one piece, then I hope to have a feature flight from Mark Radcliffe himself uh, on this amazingly beautiful, awesome airplane. This would be smoke for the first time ever for me. There's a lot of firsts here, you guys, and I don't want to eat up any more time. I really just want to put this in the air and I hope you guys enjoy this too. But 10 years in the making to finally lead up to this moment feels really good. Let's fly. Right, yeah. So, Mark is here helping me. It's his, his beautiful airplane. Um, and I'm probably not gonna talk a lot because there's a lot of things to focus on with this airplane, especially for the takeoff and stuff. So you guys enjoy a Nate-less flight, hopefully. Get the bug, it bites hard, you guys. So hard. <laughs> and I cannot believe I'm flying a 46% Ultimate. It's really crazy. Nine horsepower. This could almost lift me up. We won't do anything too wild today, but I do want to have some fun with it, not just fly it in circles. Keeping it in low rates. It's a great airplane. In case you're curious, that's full throttle. Put the smoke on. Do it. Is my first smoke ever. First I smoke I'll ever. Maybe a loop out here if I can. Ooh. We'll see. It's so cool, Nate. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, you guys. Be happy? 10 years and like lots of selling of foam airplanes to, you know, get to this moment, this experience. Yes, I'm happy. Such little talking. I feel good. It feels really good. It's just hard to, I'm, I'm way out of my comfort zone as far as like electric and foam and confidence goes. But, um, yeah, watch, I think we can pull off a nice one. So cool, so cool. The only thing I'm worried about, as anyone would be, is the landing. We've only been up for about four minutes. Yeah. So we're just gonna enjoy. Oh, how did I lose you? You went up fast, I don't know. I looked away for five seconds. <laughs> That's cool. Oh my gosh, smoke is so cool. <laughs> it's messy. Everyone says it's messy, but man, I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> always wanted to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. never really a glass ceiling. You think you're good at airplanes, fly a helicopter. You think you got the electric stuff down, look at this. 10 years it's taken me to get to this point. How about right to left smoke? <laughs> Kill the trouble, probably a little. I'm just, yeah, that wasn't pretty or anything. It was Looks pretty to me. It. What's my time at, Abby? About seven minutes. Okay, so right around eight, or maybe just one more pass, I'm probably gonna think about landing. Do a roll with smoke. Okay. Before you land. <laughs> okay, so, you better believe my bones are shaking, my knees are shaking, <laughs> frog in my throat. We're gonna try it, though. We're gonna try it. Step out here with me, Abby. Step sure. out. Sure. Yeah, let's walk up. 
How far? Okay, that's good. Okay, super focused. Well, I had a bounce, but you know what? That's not bad. Oh my goodness. Slow down. Oh my goodness. There we go. I'll take that. I'll have to walk out and get it, but. <gasps> it's in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still alive. No heart attack on the ground. Happy. <laughs> Good job. Pretty happy with it? Oh yes. Oh yes. The knife edge is amazing. Isn't it good? Yeah. Hardly any rudder. No rudder. Big smile on your yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mark, owner Hi, Mark. of the airplane, or now actually previous owner. Well, well I haven't seen any money yet. <laughs> yeah, well, right. I, I brought a little uh, ultimate 3D plane up that I thought maybe he would trade. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'll do that. <laughs> uh, so this is amazing, guys. This first huge step into the whole next world of RC, and I. Uh, couldn't have done this without Mark, and the timing was just perfect. <sighs> Don't ever let fear or doubt or whatever, anything, slow you down from doing what you want to do. Uh, it took us 10 years to get to this point, but ultimately, I've always wanted to do something like this. I've always wanted to own something like this and be able to come fly it whenever I want, not just when um, Ali at Horizon Fest is letting me fly his $30,000 jets, you know, so it's really cool to be able to do this and I hope you guys enjoyed the process. Normally I kind of know what I want to say with a lot more confidence and I know foam and electric so much better than I know this world and, and so this is all just new and a learning experience, a learning opportunity for me and I just want to share that with you guys so you know, you probably heard or didn't hear me talking during that flight just knowing how nervous I was and anxious. And we all feel that way. Even if it's your first little $100 ready to fly mini Warbird flight, I know the feeling. And I just want to let everyone else know that doesn't matter how many foam electrics I've flown, this had me nervous, but in a really, really good, exciting way. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, experience. If, you've watched, if you're watching this video, you've never seen our channel before, we would love for you to subscribe. We do RC crazy fun adventures all the time and uh, I can make a recommendation for you to get your first airplane in the air it's things that have helped me get to this point in time so what a what a awesome happy proud moment and for that I thank God just it took a lot of paths to cross to make this happen and I know for a fact the only one that allowed that to happen was God so I'm very grateful today for Abby to let me come out here and spend hours and hours and hours to learn <laughs> this and film and all this. Super supportive wife, an amazing family, and um, got in the video eventually. So if you're super into RC like me, we'll have another fun RC plane video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Bye.